placement is that testosterone will suppress your testicle ability to produce testosterone. And your testicles will shrink to little bitty tiny balls. And if you stop testosterone, you in fact will take a very long time to regenerate your own testicles ability to make testosterone. Lastly, on the same point, the reason you do not see testosterone commercials on TV anymore is that the FDA banned it because most men who take testosterone don't realize that they convert a lot of that topical testosterone into estrogen, the female hormone. And the reason testosterone commercials are banned is because of this fact. And we now know that topical testosterone replacement increased estrogen in men, and estrogen is one of the leading causes of heart disease and strokes. And that explains why testosterone replacement was causing more heart attacks and more strokes, not because of testosterone, but because it was converted to estrogen. And lastly, guys, you'll convert the testosterone into estrogen, and guess what? You'll get man boobs, and that's not what you're looking for with testosterone replacement. So lots of good reasons not to look for topical testosterone, or those crazy testosterone pellets, and I'll have more to say about that. So women, uh, if you have a low libido, what can you do to amp up your sex life? So I've been taking care of women and men in my practice uh, for over 20 years now. And one of the things I've learned from listening to a great deal of men and women is one of the worst ways to screw up your libido is when you're busy with a project, such as a child, sex goes way down the line. The other thing that you should know is that during lactation and during breastfeeding, your child and your interaction actually suppresses your desire to have sex because quite frankly, your child wants your undivided attention. And there is a really cool hormonal interplay between breastfeeding and not having a desire for sex. And this has actually been shown over and over again, particularly in societies where breastfeeding is done until three or four years of age. And it's actually a very useful uh, way of limiting the population. So number one, don't feel bad that there's somehow something wrong with you hormonally because you're not very interested in sex. Your children are keeping you from doing that. Now, one of the interesting things that I see in women, particularly in the perimenopause or even the postmenopause period, is there is a huge amount of information out there that uh, menopause is going to decrease your sex drive or that perimenopause is going to decrease your sex drive and you need hormonal replacement to get your sex drive back. Quite frankly, there's some very fascinating studies in psychology looking at the effect of a long-term monogamous relationship on sex drive in the women. And it has nothing to do with hormones. And this is going to shock a 